Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. These days, net zero homes are a cutting edge trend. But a few years from now, they could be a requirement for home builders. Brookfield Residential wanted to get ahead of the game, so they designed and built the most beautiful, super energy efficient home they could. We asked Brookfield's Doug Owens for a tour. The giant window in the middle there is actually the furnace for the house. So we have phenomenal insulation, blanketing the whole home all the way underneath the foundation and everything. We also have incredibly airtight building envelope, so much so that there's very little energy needed to heat and cool the home. This is the Tesla of passive homes, requiring 90% less energy than a conventional home. It's heated and powered almost entirely by the sun. Along with its massive south-facing window, the home has 8 kilowatts of rooftop solar. More than anything, though, this is a visually stunning home. There's been few jaws drop as soon as they walk in. I don't think it's because it's a passive house. I think it's because it's beautiful. The secret sauce in this passive house is top to bottom super insulation. It's incredibly well insulated. So if you go piece by piece, you start with the windows. These windows are about R7, okay? And typical windows are about R2. If you went to the wall systems, R45 compared to an effective R18 being required. Roof systems about R55 compared to a cathedral ceiling, which we're required to have R10. So a dramatic difference, so much so that it changes the mechanical in the home. In fact, the tiny heating unit in the house draws about as much electricity as a hairdryer, and it's needed only on the coldest winter days. Meanwhile, an energy recovery ventilator, or ERV, recovers heat that otherwise would be lost when bringing fresh air into this nearly airtight home. So 86% of the heat it will recover, so air that we're exhausting from the house will scavenge 86% of the heat on that to warm up the air coming in. This home has one other pretty cool feature that we've never seen in a home. It's built entirely out of 4-inch thick cross-laminated timber, or CLT. Matt Arsenault of Sawbuck Builders explains. Yeah, so this is cross-laminated timber. It uh, is 4 inches thick of timber that's been um, glued together and laminated together. And um, it creates the structure of the wall. Um, at, the end, at the end product, you, you install this insulation, 9.5 inch layer, plus the 1.5 inch layer, which will give you R45 value of insulation. This wall will be strapped with 3 quarter inches of plywood, and then the siding is put on the outside. Doug Owen says code and policy trends clearly point to a future in which energy efficiency will be required in all new homes. The Pemina Institute's Saeed Katura says Brookfield's Passive House is an important step in creating a thriving green housing market in Alberta. We have to learn how to localize it and create this local industry that's going to really decrease the cost of building these types of homes and build the type of industry in Alberta that not only allows us to, to live efficiently and comfortably, but also creates jobs and economic opportunities for Albertans. It's undeniably cool to bask in the warmth of a luxurious 2,400 square foot estate home and to realize it's heated almost entirely by the sun. With its thick walls, warm floors, and no furnace, this is one of the coziest, quietest homes we've ever experienced. Here's hoping it's the first of many in Alberta. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.